नमस्कार वंस अगेन यू वॉचिंग अस ऑन पी एम ई विद चैनल नंबर सिक्स फॉर ऑल द क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स वेल मैथ्स इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लाइक वी ऑल नो वी लाइक सॉल्विंग द इक्वेशंस द प्रॉब्लम्स एंड लर्निंग द न्यू मेथड्स सो हियर वी आर विद डेटा हैंडलिंग एंड दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द सेम सेशन इफ यू हैव सीन पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू एंड दे इज समथिंग लेफ्ट दैट आर एक्सपर्ट्स डिंट आंसर एंड यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क अगेन यू कैन सेंड योर क्वेश्चन एंड इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच दोज फर्स्ट टू पार्ट दैन प्लीज वॉच दैम एंड दिस थर्ड पार्ट इज फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड लेट्स मीट आर एक्सपर्ट शील बी answering all your questions she is a mrs suranlata sharma welcome ma'am thank you thank you tanvi ma'am is tgt mathematics from dr rajendra prasad kendriya vidyalaya president's state new delhi and uh, data handling like i said this is the third part so let's ask her to sum up part 1 and part 2 for all of you and then begin the third part ma'am yes thank you tanvi actually we have already had two sessions and i would like to recapitulate what we had discussed in the previous two sessions we had studied about data data is a collection of numbers gathered to give some information mm -hmm. we also studied about pictographs a pictograph represents data through pictures of objects it helps answer the questions on the data at a glance then we also learned how to draw bar graphs what is a bar graph it's a pictorial representation of the numerical data by a number of bars that is rectangles of uniform width made horizontally or vertically with equal spacing between them moreover the length of each bar represents the given number in our previous sessions we have learned to collect data tabulate and represent it through pictographs and bar graphs the collection recording and presentation of data helps us to organize our experiences and draw inferences from them we have seen that how information collected could be first arranged in frequency distribution table and then this information could be put as a virtual representation in the form of pictographs or bar graphs we can look at the bar graphs and make deductions about the data we can also get information based on these bar graphs now today tanvi we are going to do some more questions based on bar graphs they are very interesting see here we have a question the number of mathematics books sold by a shopkeeper on six consecutive is shown below we have two columns one showing us different days sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday and the second column gives us the number of books sold against these days 65 monday 40 tuesday 30 wednesday 50 thursday 20 and friday 70 we are supposed to draw a bar graph to represent the above information choosing the scale of your choice now see how do we make the uh, choice of proper scale for the particular bar graph let's see here by taking a scale of 1 unit length that is 10 cent 10 books we may draw a bar graph of above data as follows as you can see the horizontal line we have shown the days sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday and the vertical line we have used to show the number of books sold here as we have taken one unit is equal to 10 books you can see we have marked 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 respectively on the vertical line and this way we can show our data for the particular question here mentioned now we have another question following table shows the number of bicycles manufactured in a factory during the years 1998 to 2002 illustrate this data using a bar graph choose a scale of your choice we have years and number of bicycles manufactured 
In the year 1998, we can see 800 bicycles were produced, were manufactured in a factory. And in 1999, 600 bicycles were manufactured. In 2000, there were 900 bicycles. In 2001, there were 1100 bicycles. And in 2002, there were 1200 bicycles, that is 1200. Now, in this, we are supposed to draw the bar graph and we are also supposed to answer the questions. What are they? In which year were the maximum number of bicycles manufactured? And the next question is, in which year were the minimum number of bicycles manufactured? You can see, we have drawn the graph of this with the help of horizontal line and vertical line. Horizontal line, can you see? we have shown years that is 1998, 1999 and 2000, 2001 and 2002 and the vertical line we have chosen the scale as 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1100 and 1200 and then we have drawn the corresponding bars with equal width and keeping in mind that the width between the bars is also uniform. It should not be different. Now, our question, what is the answer to our first question? In which year were the maximum number of bicycles produced? Yes, Tanvi, can you answer my question? In two, 2002, how many, uh, no, in 2002, as you can see from the graph, maximum number of bicycles were manufactured. Right ma'am. Okay. And now you answer my next question. In which year the minimum number of bicycles were manufactured? It was in 1999. Very good. In year 1999, minimum number of bicycles were manufactured. I think you could guess with the uh, height of the bar. Yes. Okay. And, uh, well, uh, if we go by the vertical line, it could be around 600. Yes, you are right. Okay. Now, let us see the next question now. Uh, these graphs are very interesting. So, you, uh, just by the site you can get the uh, answers. Right. Yeah. So, there is a lot to learn about bar graphs and they are very yes. interesting to draw. Draw also, yes. That's and one of kids the favorite enjoy. topics yes. of kids. The kids enjoy a lot yeah. and they love to do this chapter. You know, actually this chapter beautifies their copy Absolutely. because they can use crayons, colors, different colors for different yeah. bars and it makes very interesting activity for them. True. They love to make the bar graphs and pictographs. So, this chapter is of their choice. Okay. Let's go further. Yeah. Now, we have next question. Number of persons in various age groups in a town is given in the following table. This is also very interesting students. You see what is uh, given here? Age group in years. Can you see 1 to 14 years? That means all children of that particular town are how many they are? They are 2 lakhs. Right. We have big number here. Mm -hmm. 15 to 29 years of age are put in a different group. 1 lakh 60,000 number of persons are there in this uh, age group. And in age group 30 to 44, 1 lakh 20,000 persons are there. From 45 to 59 age group, we have 1 lakh 20,000 persons. In 60 to 74, 80,000 persons are there in the town and 75 and above years of age, we have 40,000 persons. We are expected to draw a bar graph to represent the above information and answer the following questions. Here he has uh, given us a hint that one unit length you can take as 20,000. See till now we were doing questions of very small number. Here we have all large numbers involved. So, we will be taking one unit length as 20,000. And we will also answer the questions which are there. Which two age groups have same population and all persons in the age group of 60 and above are called senior citizens. How many senior citizens are there in the town? Okay, okay children, let us first 
draw the bar graph and see here by taking a scale of one unit length is equal to 20 thousands we may draw the bar graph of above data as follows we have age groups on the vertical uh, sorry on the horizontal line we have 1 to 14 then you can see equal width is left in between the bars 15 to 29 and then next we have 30 to 44 and 45 to 59 then 60 to 74 and 75 and above notice that the age which is there it is not overlapping we have exclusively put 1 to 14 15 to 29 so this way we can draw the bar graph and on the vertical line you see we have taken one unit length is equal to 20,000. So, we have taken 20,000, 40,000, 60,000, 80,000, 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 20,000, 1 lakh, 40,000, 1 lakh, 60,000, 1 lakh, 80,000, 2 lakhs and 2 lakhs, 20,000. Okay, children, I think it becomes easy for you to draw now. Now, let us answer the questions which are there. We have to tell which are the two age groups which have same population. Yes, Tanvi, it is your time now. Yes, ma'am, I can answer. It's from uh, 30 to 44 and uh, 45 to 59, which is okay. in the middle. Very good. We can see the height of the two bars yeah. and we get the answer very obviously. Very Absolutely. good. That's nice. Now, the next question is about our senior citizens. It is told to us that all persons in the age group of 60 and above are called senior citizens. Right. How many senior citizens are there in the town? Can you see 60 to 74 and 70. 75 and above? Right. So, let us see here. Senior citizens are the persons between the age group either from 60 to 74 years or from 75 years and above. Right. Therefore, number of senior citizens in the town will be 80,000 plus 40,000 that is equal to 1 lakh 20,000. Hence, the number of senior citizens in the town are 1 lakh 20,000. Is it clear students? I hope you have understood this. It is absolutely clear to me and to our viewers as well ma'am. Okay. Uh, as we are going to sum up this chapter, uh, let us have a uh, quiz on this chapter. Okay, okay. Tanvi, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, our first question goes, it is a multiple choice question. In a bar graph, bars are made dash. The dash is to be filled up with horizontally, vertically. C option is sometime horizontally, sometime vertically and D option is obliquely. Um, ma'am, uh, the graphs we have seen in the slides they were horizontally but there are times when we even draw the graphs vertically so the answer if i am not wrong you yeah, are right sometime. you are right perfectly <laughs> right it is sometime horizontally and sometime vertically in the last session we did one question in both the ways we did the graphs uh, bar graphs in a horizontal manner and vertical manner okay good now next question is Representation of data in the form of picture is called dash. First option is bar graph, second option is pictograph, third option is tally mark and fourth option is histogram. Ma'am, you just explained this. It is called pictograph. Yes, very good. We use pictures to show the data and it is known as pictograph. That is nice. Now, in a bar graph, space between rectangles is always dash. First option unequal, second increasing, third decreasing, fourth equal. It is always equal. Yes, very good. The bars space between rectangles is always equal. We have seen in all the bar graphs. Yes. Now, in a bar graph, the width of the rectangle is first option increasing, second option B decreasing, third option C unequal and D fourth option equal. It is again, it is equal every time. Very good. In a bar graph, the width of the rectangle is always equal. That is very good. Now, next question. A collection of numbers gathered to give some information is called, first option is frequency, second option is data, 
third option is bar graph and fourth option is tally mark. Now well, it's data. Very good. Just now we saw the definition. Yeah. What is that? A collection of numbers gathered to give some information is known as data. That's great. Now next question. Um, Tanvi, I can see here one tally mark with four vertical lines and the fifth line crossing these four lines. This represents frequency equal to A option 4, B option 5, C option 10 and D option is 8. Ma'am, it's 5, 4 and 1 crossing. Very so good. So, this we have uh, used in making our tally marks uh, table. That is, we draw 4 vertical lines and the fifth Vertic fifth line which crosses these vertical lines that makes us very uh, sure that this is a collection of 5. So, easily we can count those uh, tally marks when we make our frequency distribution table. Okay. okay? Ma'am, uh, there is a question from one of our viewers mm -hmm. and he is asking are there different types of data handling and if there are, what are they? Uh, actually, in uh, this is class 6, we have in their course only about uh, pictographs and bar graphs. In senior classes, they will learn about histogram, frequency polygon, double bar graphs, mm. there are many, we have pie chart also, so many more ways in the next subsequent classes they will be learning. Okay. Okay. So, I hope Keshav, you have got your answer and uh, Keshav was answering all the questions you were That's asking. That's beautiful. Lovely students. I just love students. They are so pretty, you know, they are so excited and thrilled to learn new concepts. And attentive. Yes, very attentive. They wait for their mathematics class Absolutely. because they love the subject. Actually, it is a beautiful subject if you keep practicing and if you practice it regularly. Yes. It is the simplest subject, it I suppose. Is, is. Now, I have an innovative project to suggest for this chapter. Okay. As we have finished this chapter, you know, Tanvi kids always wait for their birthdays. Always. Yes, always. If they celebrate their birthday today, right from tomorrow, mm -hmm. they will start counting how many days are left for their Next birthday. birthday. Yes. Yeah. So, we, I have uh, just made a project which is. Uh, about their birthdays. Okay. okay. So, the kids uh, will be given some hint and they can work upon it and uh, they will be in a way revising the whole chapter in the form of this project work. Okay. And maybe oh. they can share their bar graphs with us on the basis of the Yes. Question. Sure. Sure. They can do it and they are very intelligent, you know, very innovative ideas they have. Truly. Uh, now, yes, we have here the project work is Collect data regarding the birthdays of all students of your class and write it in the space given below. You can have name of student and birth month of birth. Just simple data. This we are collecting and we call it as primary data because you are just roughly writing the student's name and the month of birth. Prepare a frequency distribution table of the above data. In this you will make two col three columns. First will show the month second tally marks and third frequency. See month you can list down 12 months are there. We have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. And tally marks as you have learned children, you can mark there suppose 5 students are there. So, 4 vertical and fifth will be uh, a line crossing so that it, it makes easy for you to count. After making this frequency distribution table, observe the frequency distribution table and answer the questions. First question, which month registers maximum number of birthdays? How many children have their birthday from May to July? Third question, how many children have their birthday from October to December? Fourth question, which month registers minimum number of birthdays? In this form, see, complete the bar graph with the help of frequency distribution table. On horizontal line, you can show months and on vertical line, you can show number of students. Now, one question for you uh, students, you have to answer. Here, I will ask my Tanvi to answer this question. For comparison of data, what do you think? Which one is easier, frequency table or bar graph? I think bar graph. Yes, you are right because bar graphs gives us just 
immediate answer. Yes. We can just see the bar graph and we can see the height of the bars and we can answer. Yes. Na, any query which is relevant to the uh, bar graphs mm. can be easily answered by the sight of the bar graphs. True. Ah, very so, good. I am sure our students too will enjoy making these bar graphs and uh, the birthday idea is ma'am wonderful. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you so much. Thank you for explaining the whole concept and now that uh, first, second and third all the parts are done and the chapter is complete. Yes. I am sure our students uh, they will be sending us queries whenever they are ready. Thank you ma'am. Yes. Ma Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all the students as well. So you learned bar graph today and uh, if you liked this program you can send us your uh, comments, your compliments and uh, questions and queries we will always take up whether we are dealing with that particular session or not. So thank you again for being here, for participating and uh, stay with us, don't go anywhere because we are coming back with another special program of ours webinar on ICT tool and you can watch this program on all the PME with their channels. So take great care of yourselves, smile always and uh, yes, drink a lot of water. Thank you. Namaste.